how to add subscriptions on your Shopify store. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can add subscriptions to your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now to add subscriptions, it's pretty easy and pretty simple. So we're just going to go on to our Shopify store and this is like the back end of our store. Now, if you go into product and click on add your product, you don't have any native integration that allows you to create products that are subscription based. So you have physical products or digital products, but you don't have any kind of subscription based product. So when you are creating subscriptions, you can make digital descriptions or you can make physical subscriptions. So let's say I want to offer like subscription based uh, service for getting uh, maybe toiletries or maybe getting home essentials so if i want to do that i can easily do that even if i want to create digital subscription so let's say you want to sell a online course you can do that as well now to get started with integrating subscriptions you're going to click on settings on the bottom left of your screen and once you click on settings you want to go into apps and sales channels on the bottom left then you want to click on shopify app store now, once you click on Shopify App Store, just search for subscriptions over here and you will get multiple different subscription based applications. Now, the one that I like and recommend is App Store. App Store is amazing and I personally have used it. I just found it to be very effective. I'm pretty sure all of these subscriptions work pretty good. Some of these are available for free. Recur Pay is a absolutely free, you know, application available. And it has pretty similar tools that are, uh, you know, pretty good in comparison to App Store as well. So they're both pretty amazing tools. But I'm going to click on Add App on App Store, and I will just install this onto my Shopify store, and we're going to set it up. So once you add this, you will just click on Install Applications. And once you click on Install Applications, you just have to wait for a couple of seconds for it to be installed. Now, you guys can see it has now been installed and on the bottom left, you can actually see it and I'm just going to pin this to my navigation. Now you have to choose which, you know, plan you want on App Store. We're going to continue on with the free one, although you do get a 10 day free trial of any of their premium subscription plans as well. Now, once you've created that, you just have your basic uh, tools ready. So you guys will be able to see on the left side, just, you know, beside your actual navigation panel, you have the app store section. And from here, you can click on subscriptions and you can click on subscription over here and you can export pre-existing ones or create your own subscription. So you can click on create manual subscription. Now, after that, you can choose what kind of subscription you want to create. So you have pay as you go, you have, uh, you know, uh, all the basic information you want to input, but you have to make sure you fulfill their eligibility criteria. So uh, you need to have Shopify payment set up or PayPal or Stripe, whatever you might want. Uh, you can just go into your settings and scroll down and click on your uh, billing section and you can add a payment method in your payments. You're going to add choose a provider or so I'm just enabling a couple of different payment methods and now you want to make sure once you've added your payment methods, you can go on to, uh, you know, your subscriptions and click on create manual subscription and uh, you will be able to see, you know, you have all of the basic criteria that you have to add. So the first thing I want to do is I want to actually add my product and you do have, you know, a minimum criteria over here to get started. Now for uh, activating this, you have to at least activate Shopify payments, Stripe, uh, Apple Pay, Shop Pay, or Authorized Net only. And you can cl click on over here to update all of your payment setup. So uh, I can just click on over here, click on add manual payment. And once you have activated your account, you want to go on ahead. And we're going to now begin our subscriptions. So still, we're having some issues. So we're just going to wait up and just recheck all of our items so i've just added all of my information i just completed that and now i'm going to go into subscriptions once more and we're going to start setting up our subscriptions so uh you guys can see i'm going to click on let's get ready and i can click on create first subscription plan 
and you're going to name the plant. So let's say I have a box. So I have maybe a toiletries box. And I will select the products that are included in this subscription. You can click on select product. I currently don't have any products in my store. So we're just going to quickly uh, add a basic product. And I'm just going to duplicate the product just so it's easier for me. Now we're going to go back into uh, App Store. And we're going to continue on with building our subscription plan over here. So we're going to create our first subscription, name it Toiletries Box, select our product. So these are the two products that would be included in this subscription box. And after that, you can add frequency. So uh, you can add the plan name. So it could be a weekly or monthly based one or a monthly one. So you have multiple different plan types where you can have pay as you go, where it's an auto renewal system. This is the most standardized version. Then you also have prepay where it's a one-time payment and then you have prepaid auto renew as well. So I'm gonna go pay as you go and you can add the frequency plan distribution all your needs every month and the order frequency so every one month people will receive this and you can set specific order days so it could have you know a specific order date after that you don't take orders for this and you can also add a discount so let's say you will get 30 percent off if you buy the bundle package or you know the subscription based uh toiletries and once you do that you can click on show advanced options you can also upgrade to a premium version and once you have done that, that is all you have to do to, uh, you know, create your little subscription. And uh, once you have completed it, just scroll back up, click on save on the top right. And your subscription will be created and added to your Shopify store. So if I view my Shopify store and I go into, you know, the items that I have, I will be able to uh, see the subscription. So we have this subscription created. You have the variant count, the loyalty. So this is like a premium feature that enables you to forecast your uh, subscriptions. And once you have done that, that is all you need to do. Now in the product section of your Shopify store, people will be able to see the product, you know, uh, in the buy now section. Currently I'm sold out, but people get the option to buy in subscription. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well, so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video